What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're gonna talk about a serious problem right now. I'm talking a lack of knowledge of the younger generation of scooter riders. If you don't know what Dissidence Coalition is, then you're part of the problem. But that's okay, because you're gonna learn today. And so what is Dissidence Coalition? Because a lot of people actually don't know what it is. Like, when I was in California, I had all the Claremont rats literally in scooter farm, and I brought it up to them, and all of them were like, huh? What? What's that? The second I hear that, I'm on the ground, I'm like, ah, oh, they don't know what Coalition is, how are they scooter riders? Scooter Man, hearing something like that almost seriously killed me. I mean, even Brendan at Chang, I asked him what Coalition is next to Jenna. I'm like, Jenna, watch, she doesn't know what this is. And so I asked Brendan, of course, he screams across the skate park. He's like, nah, bro, I know what it is. And he describes it, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I'm like, I guess you do know what it is. And then he goes, yeah, bro, like, I would love to go out to one of those next year and see it. I'm like, Okay, Jenna, he doesn't know. Which is exactly why I'm making this video, because it's extremely important you know what this is. And so enough of me talking about it, I'm gonna play this video of Distance Made About It. From the land of the lowest of the gully in the gutter, see the bread's made of toast for the honey and the butter. Only die for two things. That's my money and my money. Yes, sir. That is right. No cap. Fourteen thousand dollar prize pool. There's gonna be first, second, and third place to this. And ironically, I'm filming this video at the deadline of the actual coalition video. So essentially, the competition's already over. But we're gonna talk about it. And the moment y'all been waiting for. Let's go over the teams right now. I'm gonna have pictures on screen. So the first team we got: Richard Zlinka, Dante Hutchinson, LeBaron, and T Storm. That's gonna be a very good team. Second team's got Nick Tedrick, Paul Roman, Sundesi, and Juzzy. Oh my God. That's that's gonna be a good team. That one, I'm waiting for that video. Third team, we got JD, Boris Germain, Charles Padel, Justin Phillips, and Swaggio Presente, Flavio. Fourth team, we got Burrito Guido, Shorty, Dylan Morrison, Kevin Austin, and Jonathan Peroni. Oh my God, that's a heater right there as well. So many combos and style on that team. Fifth team, we got Tommy Christiana, Mark Williams, Badger Clit, Jake Sorensen, and Reese Desma. Ooh. Sixth team, we got Caden, Billy, Manta, Ray, John Dev, Derek, Marr, and Ivan Gimez. Dang. Seven team, I actually don't know two of these guys, but I do know that this is Lucas DeMeglo and then August Pellegrin, and then I've seen this guy actually before. But I'm definitely excited because when these videos come out and I don't actually see a rider that I do know, I get really hyped because then I think, holy crap, they're in coalition and I don't know them? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna provide me? That means that person is out there and they're gonna throw down and I'm excited to see what they got, especially if I don't know them. Team number eight, we got Andrew Zamora, Pepito, Ruben Rodriguez, we got Ryan Upchurch and Cooper Carr. That is sick. That is a sick team. I'm ready for that too. And then the ninth and the 10th team. Now guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not just gonna sit here and lie. I do not know any of these guys. I literally, I think I know this guy, but I actually don't know any of these guys by name, which is sick to me because I don't know what to expect at all, and I bet you for some of the names I even read out, that's like that for you guys, which is sick because you're gonna learn. Watch these videos, learn some of the names, see the style, see the different trick selections, see so many different sides of scootering, and it's all amazing. Whether you're street or park, which I don't care, street or park dog, watch these videos. You're gonna see flips, you're gonna see so many tricks, it's the best of scootering. I don't care, street or park, you're watching that. I don't even have time to pick up phone calls because street or park doesn't even matter. Hi, this is the Dissidents Coalition. These videos are going to be insane. Coalition is seriously so sick for so many reasons. I mean, you got 10 teams of amazing riders with different styles, different bags of tricks, all thrown into another environment to just to film for 10 days to film the best edit they could come up with to get a chunk of that $14,000 prize pool. Are you kidding me? Who is it hyped about this? This has been going on for two years and this is one of my favorite things in the scooter industry. You get to see so many amazing edits come out in one period of time. With so many people throw down and just absolutely put their mind and soul into scooter. And it's especially cool because I've been watching these for the last two years, so I know most of these riders, and they're in this competition for the third time. And it's so sick because if you've been keeping up with it for the last two years of this competition, you get to see each and every rider slowly develop even better, get better at their tricks, get more stylish, develop closer friendships with people they didn't even think they'd ever meet or ride with. And this competition brings out the best in every single scooter rider 
like to absolutely throw down for their entire team and create such an amazing, diverse, fun, entertaining, and insane video to watch. You literally get like some hard edits from riders every single year on the dot because of this competition. It's one of the best in scootering. It's personally my favorite no cap. And so I highly suggest if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you go back and you watch some of the Coalition V2 videos. You watch the first ever Coalition videos. Get some of those team videos watched. Watch some of the best in the industry throw down and make the best video parts you're ever gonna see. You will literally not regret it. I'm actually gonna link some in the description right now. So check the description. I'm gonna have a couple of my favorite edits in there of Coalition. They're seriously so good and that's what you should be expecting for this year, but even better. And for this year, just in case you didn't think it was insane enough for people to know what's going on, I swear to God, I heard, and it's no cap, <sighs> El Toro is a requirement. Yep, that's right, I swear to God, they made El Toro a requirement for the competition. Bro, what's gonna go down there, huh? What's gonna happen? You're bringing 10 amazing teams that just want to die, essentially, to El Toro, and you're having them throw down the best tricks for $14,000? Comment down below what you think is going to happen. Because I actually won't tell you right now, but I know one clip that already happened. Actually, two. But I'm thinking of this one clip. We're never going to forget that clip. And I can't wait to see it because I only heard about it. But it's another one of those clips that I don't think we're ever going to forget as scooter riders. It's almost as iconic as, like, that juzzy front lip. You know the juzzy front lip around the circle. Yeah, I don't, I'm not even going to put it in the clip. You know it. But the clip I'm talking about, man, it is facts. It really did happen. And I know it did because I talked to John Dev and Derek Mart at the farm and they were literally mid-filming. Coming in midday, they told me it was up. They're like, bro, I watched it. I'm like, oh my god, it's real, bro. A real witness to what happened. I mean, essentially, John Dev and the whole team, they were all witnesses to a murder. Because that person murdered El Toro. But yeah, last year, Nick Tedrick and Son Desi, their coalition edit actually won. It was seriously so good. It was Oh my god, 10 out of 10, man. And I expect such a good edit from them this year. But I want to hear from you guys. Who do you think is going to take the cake for this year? Hmm? What team are you going to put your money on that's going to have the best video? That's going to come out with that biggest prize of the $14,000? The biggest chunk. Who's going to take it, guys? Let me know. Comment down below. I mean, do Nikki T and Sondesi, does their team have it again? Or are they about to get smoked by some other boys? Because there are some great, great teams in here, man. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. I have so many friends in Coalition, man. I don't know who to vote for. Holy crap. And also, I was thinking about reviewing each Coalition edit, kind of like reviewing it in a way that doesn't take away from watching the actual video, but something enough to break down each video, talk about what I liked about it, some of the, some of the cinematography, see how hard that was? Angles, the tricks, the style, everything. I'd like to talk about the Coalition videos, the song choice, all that stuff. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know if I should be reviewing the Coalition videos down below. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it for a good amount of them. Maybe not everyone, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they do. If you guys like them, I'll keep doing them. But yeah, guys, that's all I have to say. Coalition is coming. It is coming very soon. In fact, it's over right now. But you're going to be seeing those videos at a future date, and you're going to know who's going to win that competition because I can't wait to see all those videos. I'm literally sitting here like <laughs> trying to pull out my hair like I can't wait for them. But if you enjoyed this video and you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel because we talk about scooters. We ride them very frequently on the channel. In fact, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, of course, you know, these videos are not representative of that because I've been a little bit lazy with them, okay? They're a day off. But the channel will continue to go Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday upload from now on. And so you don't want to miss anything from the channel. Not a single video. So turn on post notifications. Hit that bell. Why don't you subscribe? Then you won't actually miss any videos. YouTube will actually notify you when my videos are uploaded. It's beautiful. Of course, subscribing doesn't do that. You gotta do the bell too. But yeah, guys, until next time, I'm gonna go sit there and refresh my Instagram feed until I see something about Coalition. So I'll see you guys.